church and anyone else that's interested in taking a look at what is going on with Pastor Coverstone. He seems to be all over YouTube, and I believe he is a pastor of a church. Um, I wanted to look at a couple of things that he said, uh, specifically scripturally. I am doing an exegetical right now in Matthew 24, 16 through 20. And the interesting thing that I heard him say was his dreams reminded him of when they were told to flee. Um, now, that would have been during tribulation. Uh, the thing that I'm looking at is the people that he's talking about that are looking very hopeless and they're walking through the streets. First of all, what city is that? What country is that? What time period is that? He's talking December through January. He didn't see any Christmas trees. He didn't see any holiday decorations. Well, if he was in Israel, he probably wouldn't have, especially if it's during tribulation. He's not specifically saying this is the year 2020 or 2021. The other thing that came to mind was to flee. Now, the Israelites or the remnant, remnant that who believes in Christ during tribulation, they're not going to flee to the mountains. They're going to flee to uh, below into the valleys, into a place called Bozra or Pella or Petra. He's talking about cities. He could be talking about some kind of, I don't know, but it just doesn't seem to be scripturally making any sense. Just because he's seen a calendar January, December, or December, January, what year? And the other thing that was interesting was he was talking about the Baltic, let me see if I can bring it up again. The Baltic Dry Index. What is the Baltic Dry Index? The Baltic Ex Exchange Dry Index, uh, and it says 1985 to 2020, then it says data of 21-22. What does the Baltic Dry Index tell us? The Baltic Dry Index, or BDI, is a shipping and trade index created by the London-based Baltic Exchange. It measures changes in the cost of transporting various raw materials, such as coal and steel. So in his dreams, he saw the calendar. It said that it had dumped or whatever. You'd have to relook at Coverstone. I'm not saying that these dreams are not from the Lord, but they're not specific enough for us to be looking at these dreams to be uh, looking at disaster. First of all, if he's got hopeless people running through the streets, they probably are not Christians, but they uh, that doesn't mean the Christians can't become Christians or people can't become Christians during the tribulation. This is going to be a seven year period. So we know that three and a half years in that the Antichrist is going to be killed or wounded. It's going to be head wound. He's going to come back to life and people are going to just worship him and go after him. How could he come to life? Only Jesus was able to do that. Well, it's a counterfeit. Um, What's going to happen is Satan's going to indwell the Antichrist body. That's when he's going to take it over. So that'll be 42 months uh, in. Coverstone's also talking about snow and people are wearing coats inside. Uh, there's a problem with that. We have coal, we have wood, we have wood stove, especially over here in the Washington state area. Um, none of it seems to make any sense for now. 
we have an election coming up. Um, we know that the radical left wants to keep on going. They want to blame it on Trump. They want to keep this thing going. They want to, uh, uh, and it says in scripture that right will be wrong and wrong will be right. My sense of it is pray before you listen to Dr. Coverstone's dreams and put them into prophecy. Um, he also talks about, um, I'm asking the Holy Spirit to just give me remembrance of what was going on. I'm going to give a, a real video on you and him ministries presents Pamela Gunderson. And I will eke uh, through that in a real video. This is just coming on live before I, I go out and get a couple things at the store. I just wanted to get something up. Uh, there's just a lot of people that are coming up. Uh, the other thing is, uh, there's a wonderful guy by the name of, if I can get this to come up, Lance Wallnau, uh, W-A-L-L-N-A-U. He gave an interpretation of Coverstone's first dream video, and he didn't say that these were not from the Lord. Uh, the interesting thing is, it's the... Um, tapping on the calendar, the dates, but he didn't, I don't believe he said 21. That sounds more like something during tribulation. And so there are a lot of people that believe the church will be persecuted. Well, if we're not being persecuted now, I don't know what to tell you. If they have us inside and not allowed to um, have church gatherings without a mask, or some of the churches are not allowed to have church at all. For instance, John, um, uh, whatever his name is over in California, he's not allowed to have church at all. They have evicted them even from their own parking lot. So that's a problem. Um, we have some churches that are not uh, masking up. Uh, the only thing I heard the Lord tell me to, uh, yesterday was the highways and the byways. And there's a lot of churches right now that don't have glamorous programs. They're really on the fringe of things. They're not running a show right now. They're just having, um, one little church was having a bake sale yesterday. I was on my way to go get, uh, we have a very popular place that makes vape, baked goods over here in the area where I am. And I was headed over there and as I was going to the light, I looked to the left at me and said, such and such little church is having a bake sale. And I thought, gosh, I'd rather have some homemade baked goods than, uh, and I do love the other place, but they're, she's a little expensive. So I uh, turned on my phone and I said, where is AABC? And so it, it was like right around the corner from where I was. And I went in. They didn't have a lot of baked goods left. It was almost five o'clock in the afternoon. And I said, um, gosh. And they said, well, we're going to have some uh, more tomorrow. So I left. And I believe the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, go back. Give them your business card. Highways and byways. What can you do to help them? They're not a big ministry. They don't have a big name. Matter of fact, I've seen them for years. I didn't even know they actually had a I mean, I knew there was a church there, but I've never seen anything going on. It always looked like a shut up building. But I do know that occasionally they would have a sign up that said, uh, food, uh, food. Uh, because I didn't need any food. It didn't make any difference to me. So might be a place that if Coverstone's videos are making any sense, it'll be a place for food. But I don't think we're there yet. However, and I am not prophesying, but I do not believe it is bad enough yet that this will be the true persecution of the church. And I don't believe this is 
the time in our era where we're going into tribulation, I believe this is what God is doing to wake the church up. She's for the picking. And if you are a Christian and you are just playing around with the salvation God has given you, remember, the rapture is going to be really great. But as one theologian just said, you also have to realize that when you're taken up, there's also the Bema seat. The Bema seat's where the judge sits. You will have your salvation. But everything that you've done in this life for the Lord will be weighed on one scale. And everything that you did for the world or for your own self will be on the other scale. And it will be hay and stubble or gold and silver. Gold and silver will be what you did for the kingdom. Hay and stubble will be what you did for yourself. It will burn up. You will go to heaven. You will stay with the Lord. But what will your rewards be? What have you got to offer him? Because your crowns will be uh, relying. What is it that you'll be able to throw at the feet of the king? The king of the, the Lord Jesus. What will that be? So time is growing short my friend whether you are friends in the lord but right now i am saying to you if you do not have the lord as your savior you are playing with fire you are playing with fire and if you think you're going to accept him on your deathbed when is that going to be you have no idea. We have a young man who was fighting for a cause that he thought was right. And he was shot and killed, leaving two children. Where is he today? He certainly wasn't on the Lord's side. So where is he today? Was it worth it? What you're doing in this life, is it worth it? Take a look. Is it worth it? I don't care if anybody sees this or not, but I love the Lord and I do not want to see one person taste of death in hell. Not one, not an enemy, not one enemy do I want to see. It's for eternity. This is such a short time. Find out this day, who do you work for? the Lord or evil. Anyway, just remember that unless you can say that the Lord Jesus is your Lord and that Jesus is the Lord, please examine your life and make sure that you are not making a mistake, that you go to the Lord and repent. And I'm talking to Christians and non-Christians alike. We may be going through what Pastor Coverstone is speaking about. He could be right. It is for 2021. And things could get really, really bad. And I am a prepper. And I've been a prepper since 2010. What's wrong with conserving food and storing it and we've stored it and then we've thrown thrown that out which isn't any good anymore but we always when we go to the store we pick up a little bit of extra and put it away don't eat everything you buy it's not necessary your body can only burn so many calories i'm ranting i'm ranting i'm ranting i'm having an awfully good time actually i have the joy of the lord I've had it for a very long time. And I am very concerned about the souls out there. I also want to see revival before the Lord calls the church out. And yes, there is a rapture. If you are in a church and they are telling you that that's not true, run. 
And if you are in a church where they are not asking for an altar call, run. Because they are not telling you the truth. They're building their own kingdom and you can bet on it. They just want you there to keep you happy because they want to keep the lights on and drive a big car. And if you think I'm kidding, I have been in ministry many, many years off and on. And I've seen the big ones. And I've seen the big ones that actually are true. And most of them are prophetic. If you've got a church that wants to keep status quo so they don't lose the congregation they have as they're learning to go into retirement so that they've got their little nest and are not worried about who's going to take the pulpit next, beware. There were only two churches that God did not admonish. One of them was Smyrna and the other one was Philadelphia. The rest of them he admonished and says, this is what I have against you. And if you don't clean up your rack, you are going to have your lampstands taken out. And what that means is you're not getting your prayers answered anymore. So if you're going to a church and your prayers are not being answered, you might want to examine the place where you're attending and the pastor to which you are listening to. Because if he is not teaching the word of God, you're in the wrong church. You're in the wrong church. If you're not hearing an altar call, you're in the wrong church. And if he is not teaching you about the blessing, the blessed hope, which is the rapture, we are not doing the rapture so that we can get out. We're alerting you so you can continue doing the work of the ministry while you're saved or until you get sir saved so that you will be able to be able to go and stand before the Lord and say that he will say, well done, faithful servant. Not, oh, wow, you just got in by the skin of your teeth and you're not going to burn up and everything else on earth that you did will. Is that really what you want? Or do you want to have the joy of the Lord? The joy of the Lord, the peace. The peace that passeth understanding while all these things start to unfold where you and your household can go, well, I see all this stuff going on, but we're blessed. Our prayers are being answered and we can help those that need help. And we're not afraid. God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. That's what you want. Examine. Even you high and mighty politician types, if anybody would ever see this video, Repent, because your time is coming. All that money that you're making and keeping because you're not telling the truth or you're keeping things buried will bury you. You will be in a place you will not want to be. If you think the power that you're going to get becoming a socialist is going to do you good, you're the first ones that will be picked off because they will know you know where the gold's hidden. Anyway, let the peace of the Lord fall upon you. Pray and ask the Lord to forgive you and repent. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Open up your Bible and start reading, especially start with 1 John. Find out who Jesus really is. He is the Word made flesh. Then find yourself a biblical believing church and the three things that you will see from it is there will be an altar call after service there will be the reading of the word at the pulpit and they will believe in the rapture and the blessed hope and when you come in the door they will greet you they will greet you with love anyway this is Sister Pamela
walk in the light is the way and the truth and in him is the life if we obey his word then we walk